Make a date with Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online. Truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you God's word, God's applicative truth, God's rhema word, that is a word that uh, fits you, a word that will give you a life principle for your destiny. And I'm bringing all this to you through Graphic Online. Graphic Online, a place of information, the place of inspiration. Graphic Online provides you with information, accurate, correct, unadulterated, non-partisan information, but also through matters of faith. And that's what Graphic Online brings to you. I've been toying with this scripture, yea, though I walk through the valley of a shadow of death. I'm fascinated by that, by that, by that scripture because it teaches that David said, yes, that means a statement of fact, that whether we like it or not, we will go through valley moments. Valley moments are terrible moments, dreadful moments, fearful moments, and then David made a statement. He said, yet do I walk. So yes, whether we like it or not, there will be moments in our life that are unpalatable. There will be moments in our life that are fearful. There will be moments in our life that are dreadful. But then David made a statement, and that statement is a very powerful thing. He said, I will. He said, I will not fear. So guess what? David is saying, yes, there will be moments dreadful moment, fearful moment in my life. But I will, that means I will make a choice not to fear. You see, the will, it's, it's a decision I am making. So I see a fearful event, I see a terrible moment, I see a very dreadful thing coming, but I have made a choice. I have made a choice. And I have made a mental choice. I will. That means I've exercised my will. And said, I've made a choice not to fear. So, uh, everything around me is fearful, but I have decided not to fear. Everything around me is it, 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 it's dangerous, but I have decided not to fear. Everything around me is not going all right, but I have decided not to fear. So, guess what? David said, I'll make a mental decision. I see the storm, I see COVID-19, I see the, the threats it brings, I see the danger of COVID-19, everybody's scared. I am not going to be scared, but I'm not going to be foolish. I will not fear. And the reason why I'll not fear is because God is with me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the earth, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. For thou art with me. He said, I am making a conscious decision and my decision is based upon the fact that God is with me. Why? Because he promised that when I go through the waters, he will go with me. When I go in the midst of danger, he is there with me. He has never left. His name is Emmanuel. God with us. So my, my confidence is not in any other thing. My confidence is that he's right by my side. David said, where would I hide from you? If I go under the sea, you are there. If I go on top of the sea, you are there. So guess what? I have an ever-present God with me. And as a result of that, I'm not going to be careless, but I'm, not, I'm going to be carefree. I'm going to be free of care. I'm not going to be anxious. I'm not going to be afraid. Listen, I'll just let you know this. I have faced very perilous times in my life. I faced times when I was in a wheelchair and I couldn't move. I couldn't walk. And all around me there was fear. And all around me there was doom. And all around me I was being told that you can't walk again. But here I am. I am not afraid. I wasn't afraid then. I'm not afraid now. I'm not afraid. There will be fearful moments. And that is not living in denial. That there are no fearful moments. David acknowledged it. He said, yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He mentioned it. That means an acknowledgement that there are fearful things. But I have decided I won't be afraid. So the decision not to be afraid or to be afraid is your choice. And you have to choose because listen, what you fear will greatly come upon you. People, some people die before their time. 
Why? Because of fear. Because what, that's what Job said. What I greatly feared has come upon me. So fear sometimes is a magnet. I have a dog. And my dog in the house is a little bit crazy. Is a crazy dog. Respects nobody. Of course. Respects my son. Two of them. Those who are in charge of them. For them that one. But one of the days I came home and boy they let loose the, the dog in the, in the house. And when that dog saw me, he growled and, and began to walk towards me. My first inclination was, was fear. But something just said to me, no, this is my house. I am the master of the house. This house is mine. So I just looked and I, and I stood firm and looked at it and started walking towards it. It stopped. Began to look at me. And then began to back off. And I realized that, no. I, my fear, my initial fear was making it advance. But my courage and my strength in God and my faith in God was making it go back. This is exactly what happened. When Goliath came to town, he put the whole of Israel in fear. And the fear by virtue of what he was saying. Then David came to town and reversed it. And David, you guess what David did? David said to him, I will do this to you. I will do this to you. And Goliath changed his language. And Goliath said, am I a dog? When he came, he said, I'm a champion. When he came, he said, I'm a Philistine. By the time David started approaching him, he was saying, am I a dog? So guess what? Rise up above your fear. Know that God is with you. His name is Emmanuel. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. He didn't lift us up to let us down. He didn't build his home in us to move away. He didn't lift us up to let us down. Every promise that he has made is true. He is God. And from beginning to the end, there's no argument whatsoever. He would always remain God. So let's what? Make a choice. Guess what? Make a choice not to fear. And that choice is yours to make. I have made a choice. I will fear no evil. Period. God bless you. See you next time. Walking in faith, not fear.